Alright, so this game is really awesome. You're going to have to forgive me because I'm really in, intrigued by it. You have the 1980s and 1990s graphics uh, on it. it. The graphics are good. It's it's kind of old school. It's classic, right? Uh, and it's a lot of fun. If I can pay attention to what I'm doing. As an older guy here and I need glasses up this close, I probably should have them on. Anyhow, you can upgrade your engine. If you create your own name and password, you, you can upgrade your vehicle and it'll always be your vehicle. You don't have to restart to do that every time you play. So that's really, that's really interesting unlike the other arcade one-up games. This is a lot of fun. I can't keep it on the road right now because I have the engine beefed up and I don't have the brakes or anything else beefed up. A little, a little looming, as you can see. It's a lot of fun other than I'm not doing good. We, we had to upgrade to go to the next level because of our engine. And right now I'm not doing good because I'm driving in the water in a Ferrari. Excellent. And they have all this big engine on the Ferrari. Imagine when they got on a Ferrari. Well, it looks like it. Yeah, but... Alright. Well, anyhow, uh, the, the Fast and Furious is really fun. And you really can't take your eyes off of it. The steering is uh, sensitive. The steering wheel has a lot of play in it, unlike Ridge Racer. I don't know if that's just something on this this particular one. Uh, my steering wheel seems to want to like flop back and forth a little. It seems loose. I got a contact on the bonnet. I tried registering it under for warranty, uh, but the game doesn't even exist on their their uh, phone app. So, and I just went back in the eighth place. Okay, so I lost that one big time. Oh, check that out. That's so cool. You lose, you go off the cliff. Anyhow. And you can create a lot of fun stuff. And if you want to get in touch with us, you can just look up Mayors of Pittsburgh. M-A-Y-E-R-S-O-F-P-G-H. And you'll find us. We're on the uh, Infinity Game Table and all these other games. But apparently I thought we were on uh, the other ones. And we never set them up. My fault. Uh, but currently we are on NFL Blitz, Fast and Furious, and the game table. Uh, we got to set up Simpsons. I, we might be set up on Simpsons. Uh, I think we're set up on Ridge Racer. We got to get set up on Killer Instinct, NBA, uh, and I believe a few others. But uh, anyhow, uh, take a look around. Check it out. Uh, this is our arcade. This is the Mayer Family Arcade Tilted. Uh, I don't know if we'll set up on Terminator or not. We might be. But you can reach out to us at any time. And I would suggest the Fast and Furious. You might want to. You might want to invest in it. It's 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 a fun game. I'm hoping I can paint my car <laughs> when I'm all done modifying it. So this is pretty cool. This is our little arcade. This is the arcade you're checking out. Uh, we are actually doing a uh, major improvement overall on this. This is uh, one of our newest items here in the arcade. This is Avoid the Noid Domino's Pizza from the 1980s. This is a 1987, possibly a 1988 BMX scooter. And you can see it's in pristine condition. Uh, if you look over here while we're talking about BMX, you have a 1985 Mongoose. Uh, now, this one is not an original from 1985. This is actually a remake from Stranger Things from the uh, Mad Max, uh, the Mad Max bike. Uh, I don't remember what season that is, but I this, think, th I this thing is in, it's perfect. Now, this is an original 1986 BMX bike. This is a 1986 Redline ML20. However, the wheels are from a mongoose from uh, newer times, and so uh, the seat is an original red line from newer times. The pads are old school. You got the chrome ollie nudie bars, and you got the red line flight cranks. You have original 1980s uh, air caps, okay, the ball caps, and original 1980s tires. 
for red line that have the actual the tread is RL letters. That's the tread. Uh, this bike is uh, something I built living here in the past 15 years, and it's uh, it's awesome. Uh, you can see the spoky dokies. Obviously, that was just something we'd throw on once in a while back in the day. But we have the black lighting, so I wanted to go a little crazy with it. So if you back off, you can see how there's so many of them. And, you know, they used to tingle on that and make all kind of noise when you ride, when you go slow. But, you know, hey, it's fun. But if you take a look around, you can see we got a lot of cool stuff here. All right. Uh, we got lights. We got old school radios. A lot of cool stuff. Uh, we got a lot of cool stuff coming. I mean, like, really authentic 80s stuff. So, the arcade, you're getting, like, a kind of, like, behind-the-scenes thing. We got a lot of cool stuff. You got a Paul Stanley guitar here. Um, it, it's not, it's, it's, it's a remake. That one's a remake, so it's nothing special. Uh, but it just creates the atmosphere. Uh, I have some stuff here from when I was a kid. He's checking out Mr. Bill right now. Um, that's, that's a remake. I'm surprised they brought something like that back and remembered. Pause. Please. Well, over here, this is something I did back when I was a kid in grade school in 1986. Uh, I don't know, a lot of you uh, older folks will remember they were, re, uh, they were renovating the Statue of Liberty. Well, I supported that, and this is my certificate of authenticity, I guess you can say. I participated in that. Now it has, it's old and it kind of came apart, but it has a gold pin here with American flag showing the Liberty. And this is something I'm proud of. I did this a long time ago, <laughs> a long time ago. And uh, just real quick, just to sum this up, cause we're gonna get into some other stuff later. Oh, you got original hacky sacks. This stuff here is just symbolic stuff. This is like actually, my brother had given to me because this is actually like what my motorcycle looks like scarlet the fury if you've seen her in our other videos and of course our uh jeep gladiator there there it is right there huh. you know and of course we have an old school grave digger this is from the uh late 80s early 90s right there uh but anyhow we got some old heathcliff books if anybody remembers heathcliff and the alley cats uh but you want to go a step back even further you got 19 from the 1940s, you got Droopy Dog, one of the most awesomest cartoons ever next to Heathcliff. And there's a lot of other stuff. So you'd have to look around and take a look, but that's kind of wrapping up here. And I just wanted to share some of that with what you about behind this the watch scenes. Here? Oh, well, you know what? You want to get into this? I find this treasure at a, uh, like a flea market. There's an actual Dukes of Hazard watch in here with the original battery. Uh, I took the battery. Uh, the battery was floating around. I didn't take it out. I apologize. Everything is in here. Uh, and I'd like to put a battery in it just to see if it works. Just for uh, just just for the excitement of it. But I, I'm kind of afraid to because I don't want to get disappointed. So it sits on the shelf. And maybe someday I will. Someday I won't. And here's an old timekeeper. Remember these? You put them on. You had a watch. It was, it was a band you put on, you'd wind it up, put it on and press a little thing, and then it would go. And then they had uh, Roscoe's car. Oh, and then here's an original metal Dukes of Hazard from the uh, late 70s, early 80s. This is all authentic. So, and you can tell because the air cleaner keeps falling off. So, but anyhow, we're going to do other videos to come, so... I hope you enjoyed this little segment, and the Fast and Furious is what this was all about. So, come back, like, and subscribe. We got three kiddos. We got Doodlebug, which is Izzy Mayer, great artist. Check her out. We got Ryder Mayer, who likes to do football and sporting things. Check him out. Like and subscribe. And Wyatt Mayer, our youngest, he likes to do stuff. We have a family-oriented channel. And we do a lot of different things, which uh, save you money, teach you how to do some maintenance, things you can do yourself that you're not aware that you may not do or are capable of doing, but you can. A lot of cool stuff. But we focus a lot on our arcade because we like it so much. Love the atmosphere of the 80s, 70s, and even the 90s. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.